there guys welcome to the video my name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video I'm gonna you know I'm, I'm gonna uh, take it forward from the fractions first part this is the fraction second part and this video is specifically made for SAT students who are writing the new SAT or the redesigned SAT which is supposed to be in action from 2016 onwards so so let's go ahead and get started guys so if you watch, watch the previous uh, fractions video you must have seen that uh, we talked about what is a fraction how do you add fractions how do you subtract fractions well in this what I'm gonna do is first of all I'm gonna talk about mixed fractions now what are mixed fractions now uh, let's say for example if you have a number let's say 2.5 right so so the number is 2.5 this can also be written as 5 by 2 right so that's that this can also be written as 5 by 2 but this 2.5 can actually be written as 2 plus 0.5 right or basically in terms of fractions this fraction part uh, can be written as 2 plus 1 by 2 right now the way we denote this is 2 1 by 2 it's 2 and a half right so this is something that we say this is 2 and a half so this is something what we call as a mixed fraction right so a fraction which contains of uh, an integer part which is this 2 and a fraction part right so let's suppose if I say 3 and a half is nothing but 3 plus 1 by 2 4 and 1 third is nothing but 4 plus 1 by 3 right now how do you actually solve this you don't have to actually do this all the time see what happens here when you solve 3 plus 1 by 2 you kind of take this 2 there isn't it you make it 6 by 2 plus 1 by 2 now what I've done here is I multiplied by 2 here and I divided by 2 here because the only way I can add fractions when the denominator is the same isn't it and then I say 6 plus 1 by 2 and then I get 7 by 2 isn't it so what did I just do here I just did 3 into 2 6 6 plus 1 7 that is what I did here I'm gonna do that again 3 into 2 6 6 plus 1 7 similarly this is going to be 4 into 3 12 and 12 plus 1 13 which is going to be equal to 13 over 3 so if you have a mixed fraction a b over c then what do you do you do a into c plus b and that will give you the mixed fraction let's just uh, revise it again so let's suppose if I have a mixed fraction uh, let's suppose I have a mixed fraction 4 5 by 3 right so it's going to be 4 into 3 12 uh, 12 plus 5 17 over 3 right you can also break it down as 4 plus 5 by 3 that's also you can do right so this is what I call a mixed fraction so I hope you got this guys I hope this is clear now let's move on to our next part here now this is comparing fractions so how do you compare fractions so let's suppose if I say I want you to compare 2 by 3 and uh, let's say I want you to compare uh, 5 by uh, 6 right so I want you to compare 2 by 3 and 5 by 6 now the only way you can compare is when the denominators are same so when the denominators are same that is the only way you can actually compare two fractions so here the denominator is 3 and the denominator here is 6 so you can't actually compare so can you make 6 to be 3 or 3 to be 6 well it's easier to make 3 to be 6 how can you make 3 to be 6 if you multiply this by 2 well if you multiply the denominator by 2 you'll have to multiply the numerator by 2 right so that you know the fraction does not change so this comes out to be equal to 4 by 6 and this comes out to be equal to 5 by 6 and can clearly see that this fraction is greater than this fraction so whenever you're comparing two fractions just make sure that you make the denominator same and then you'll be able to compare two fractions let's say for example I want to comp I want to compare uh, let's say these fractions that is 2 by 3 uh, 4 by 5 and uh, 3 by 4 uh, let's suppose I want to compare these fractions well you can clearly see that the denominators are different so what do you do now you find uh, how can I make 3 5 and 4 equal isn't it uh, well for that what you have to do is you have to find out the least 
common multiple of these numbers well we're going to be making a separate video on least common multiple but i hope you know what a least common multiple is it's a number which is the least and it's divisible by all these numbers well uh, i can clearly see that uh, 30 is no not 30 60 uh, seems like to be a least common multiple of these numbers a number which is divisible by 3 which is divisible by 5 and which is divisible by 4 now how do i make 3 60 to be uh, 60 to be th from 3 how do i make 60 from 3 i have to multiply by 20 here similarly i have to multiply by 20 here as well and here i have to multiply by 12 similarly i have to multiply by 12 at the top i have to multiply by 15 and i have to multiply 15 at the top so this fraction becomes 40 by 60 this fraction becomes 48 by 60 this fraction becomes 45 by 60 as you can clearly see that this is the greatest number this is the second number and uh, this is the third least i mean these the, this is the least number which is there so to compare fractions what do you have to do you have to make the denominator same that is the best way you can actually compare fractions and all you need is it's a small skill of finding least common multiple for which we're going to be making a separate video fine so so let's let's go ahead and uh, move forward to the questions so the question here says that arrange these fractions uh, in order of size from largest to the smallest so we have 4 by 15 we have 2 by 5 and we have 1 by 3 well uh, as you can see we can actually multiply by 3 here and multiply by 3 here to make it 15 and i can multiply by 5 here and multiply by 5 here to make it 15 so you have 4 by 15 and then you have a 6 by 15 and then you have a 5 by 15 so 2 by 5 is the greatest isn't it so 2 by 5 should come first it doesn't come first here 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 which means this is my answer see this is a small trick which i called poe that is process of elimination you you don't have to actually literally do the whole question you just have to find which is the greatest and uh, then you move on to the greatest isn't it uh, you just check which is the greatest and you eliminate the answer options which do not give the greatest you have to find out from largest to the smallest and the largest number is 6 by 15 well i'm going to verify the answer once more uh this is 4 by 15 this is 2 by 5 this is 1 by 3 i multiply by 3 here i multiply by 5 here that comes out to be uh 5 by 15 that comes out to be uh 0.3 yeah cool all right so i hope you understood this part here guys uh let's move on to the next part okay so the question here says that which of the following fraction is the smallest well, uh, as you can see, you have the denominators 15, 24, 8, 6, and 4. So you have the denominators to be equal to uh, 4, 6, uh, 8, 24, and 15. Well, if you find out the LCM of these numbers, the least common multiple, it comes out to be, uh, well comes out to be 120 well you have to, we're going to be making a separate video on least common multiple it'll be very easy for you to calculate the least common multiple well the least common multiple is 120 so 15 times 8 is 120 24 times 5 is 120 8 times 15 is 120 6 times 20 is 120 4 times 30 is 120 so all of this is going to give you 120 so i have to multiply this by 30 and divide this by 30 i have to multiply this by 20 and divide this by 20 I have to multiply this by 15, divide this by 15. I have to multiply this by uh, 5, divide this by 5. I have to multiply this by 8 and divide this by 8. So uh, earlier this this technique wouldn't be helpful because earlier uh, a calculator was actually allowed in the ICT but now there is a section where the calculator is not allowed. So you have really have to be uh, you know efficient in solving the problem. So 30 times 3 is just 90, 20 times 5 is just 100, uh, 15 times 7, 15 times 7 is I think it's 135. Let me just verify that. Uh, sorry it's 105 yeah 105 uh, 19 times 5 it's uh, just 85 isn't it 19 times 5 uh, 95 95 sorry about that okay uh, 13 times 8 is 104 so the question is asking which of the following fraction is the smallest as you can see this is the fraction which is the smallest of the fractions right so answer is option a 
fine so i hope not i'm not making any calculation mistake here but i think you got the gist of what i'm trying to say make the denominator same and once you make the denominator same just find uh, which fraction is smallest uh, there's another way you can actually solve the problem is if you actually compare uh a with B first, uh, B and then find out the greatest and then, then compare the greatest with C, then find out the greatest, then compare the greatest with D, find out the, sorry, find out the smallest and then compare it with E. Well, that is going to be very, very time consuming. Well, you're more than welcome to I'll do that, but it's going to take a lot of time. So the most efficient way of solving uh, this problem is if you make the denominator same and then compare the fractions. So hope this is fine guys moving forward. So I would actually recommend you to pause this video and uh, try and do this question yourself first. All right. So the question says which of the following fraction is largest. So we have five, we have 10, we have eight, we have four, we have 20. Well, as you can see, all these numbers can actually become 120, right? So, so 20 times six is 120. This times 30 is 120. This times 15 is 120. This times 12 is 120 and this times 24 is 120. As you can see, the same numbers keep on repeating themselves. So, you know, you really don't have to worry about, uh, you know, learning too much because the same numbers are going to repeat themselves. So what I have to do is I just have to make uh, the numbers to be same. So I'm multiplying by their respective numbers uh, times 30 and times 30 and times six and times six. So the denominator is going to be 120 everywhere. So let me just write the numerators. 24 times 3 is 72. Uh, 12 times 7 is 84. 15 times 5 is 75. 30 times 3 is 90. 13 times 6, uh, 78. So the question here says, which of the following fraction is the largest? So as you can see, this fraction, 3 by 4, is the largest of the fractions. So I hope you're getting my point here, guys. Uh, it was easy if you're just a little quick with numbers you'll be able to do this very very efficiently otherwise you really have to work on uh, working with numbers finding the LCM multiplication this is the simple stuff that I'm doing here this is something that you should be good at uh, and this is this is something that the universities expect you to know before entering uh, you know before actually starting your uh, undergrad Okay, so I hope this is fine guys. I hope this is clear moving forward to the next fast. So the question says that which of the following fractions is closest to 3 by 4? Okay, so we have a 4 here. We have a 2 here. We have a 12 here. Numbers are fine. We have a 6 here. We have a 12 here. And we have a 24 here. So basically 24 is the number which is divisible by all these numbers. So let's make them 24. So times 6 and times 6 which is 18 over 24 times 12 and times 12 which is 12 over 24 times 2 times 2 which is 14 over 24 times 4 and times 4 which is 20 over 24 times 2 and times 2 which is 22 over 24 and times 1 and times 1 that is 19 over 24 so we have to find which of the following number is closest to 18 so this is 6 away from 18 this is 4 away from 18 this is 2 away from 18 this is 2 away from 18 this is 1 away from 18 hence my answer is option E so I hope this is fine guys so if if you don't use this technique this question is going to be going to become really really difficult because in terms of decimals this the, you know the division will keep on going keep on going keep on going and you'll actually waste a lot of time so this is what i recommend whenever you compare fractions whenever you compare fractions you talk about making the denominator same that will make your life really 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 easy okay so so i hope this is fine guys i hope you're able to understand this point here uh moving forward all right so this question here so again you know i would recommend you to pause this video and try this question out yourself okay so this question here says that which of the following fractions is closest to one by two so i have a two 12 15 20 60 15 as you can see 60 is the number which is divisible by all these numbers right so just make them 60 so this is times 30 and times 30 so that makes it uh, 30 i'm just going to do the denominators now uh, times uh, sorry the numerators now so how do you make the 60 times 5 right so that's 5 5 25 how do you make the 60 times 4 right so that's 32 how do you make the 60 times 3 right so that's 33 uh, that's just one so 31 
How do you make this 60 times 4? So that is 28. So which of the following fractions is closest to 30? This is 5 away from 30. This is 2 away from 30. This is 3 away from 30. This is 1 away from 30. This is 2 away from 30. Hence, my answer is option D. So look the efficiency by which we're doing this problem the efficiency you know we're not it's not like when we start the problem there is no absolute no uncertainty that we won't reach the answer we will always reach the answer provided we do right calculations so this is what i want you to do uh, right calculations and right method of solving this problem so that's there so i hope you got this guys right okay cool so Thank you very much for watching this video guys. Thank you very much. Uh, in the next video we will be talking about complex fractions as you've seen in the slide, right? Uh, I hope you understood how to compare fractions. So I hope the comparison of fractions was clear to you, right? I hope you learned this skill and I hope you practice this skill and I please make sure that you go ahead and practice more and more and more of this skill so that you get better at this. This is how you actually develop a new skill. So uh, before we leave guys, just make sure that you give us your valuable feedback on this email address that is support at perfectscores.org. This would be a web, a web address that is perfect-scores.com and this would be our email address where you can give us your valuable feedback right uh, sorry this is the facebook page where you can give us your valuable like so thank you very much for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next one